<laughs> cheese. You got to watch eating that gum and cheese. <laughs> i tell you what, that gum and cheese will hurt you. <laughs> what is gum and cheese made of? Because it ain't real cheese. <laughs> That's not real cheese. It's not Velveeta. All right, so story time. It's not about sports. It's about your health. Guys need to be more healthy. Okay, so here's what I'm eating. I also had this for dinner last night. Got some noodleage. Got some, uh, I had some green beans on there. And I boiled some potatoes. All right, so. Uh, got some Getty sauce on there with no meat. Okay, so I decided to stop eating meat. Or not eat so much of it. I still love bacon. But I eat turkey bacon. But I don't eat it that much. So I, I just went grocery shopping. And I didn't buy any meat. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why. It's not because of the whole no eat meat. No eat mood. Yeah. No eat cows. It's not because of that. I'm going to tell you what happened to me. Uh, I was shopping, right? I go shopping. I was shopping. It's just me. So I was shopping. And I usually would get these brought, like, because I can just, you know, throw them on a bun and boom, you know, toss little fries, <laughs> little fries, little fry going on. And, you know, that's that's dinner, you know. So one day I was eating the brats and then I, I got sick and I was just like, what made me sick? I was like, I think these brats are making me sick. So I stopped eating them ever since. I was like, no more brats for me. I don't know if they were pork or beef. I think they were beef because I don't eat a lot of pork. So I was like, boom, no more brats. And then one day uh, I had some eggs. Um, and this was a while ago. This is, you know, a while ago, probably half a year or so. Had some eggs, had some breakfast. You know, I was getting busy, getting busy on the breakfast. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was getting busy on the breakfast and um, all of a sudden I had to throw up. And it was so weird because it's like, wait a minute, do I have to throw up? And I had to like, you know, chuck up on my, you know, I made it to the bathroom. But nonetheless, it's a simple fact that it happened. And I was like, what was that? You know, it was the eggs. And that, that didn't stop me from eating eggs, but it started making me think that there's some stuff that just doesn't belong in your body. Now, I mean, we've eaten all kind of stuff that's made us sick from time or two that is not exactly meat. However... When you really start looking into meats and stuff like that, you know, and start looking into what we are, uh, it's just like, is this a natural thing for, you know, me to be eaten? You know, can I get all the protein and stuff I need from other stuff, you know, other food? So, you know, last night I went out and I don't know how to cook lentils, but uh, I got a bunch of lentils. I got some black beans. I got some green beans. I have some green beans on here. Those green beans. Here's a green bean right there. <laughs> green bean. <laughs> some green beans. You know what I'm saying? I've been eating the green beans, though. You know, I get stuff. I don't, I'm not heavy on the kale and stuff like that. You know, uh, I don't live in Calabasas. You know, but nonetheless, I just start getting stuff that's healthier. Uh,. You know, I'm 270. I shouldn't be 270. Even though I'm strong in my body, I still feel heavy in my bones because I think it's just I shouldn't be 270. So I'm trying to get that down because my knees are killing me. I'm trying to get down to 250. I can still hit that three uh, that 315 a couple times. I'm like once now. I used to get it like three or four times, but now it's just like, ah. So I can still get it once when I want to when I ain't got the hurt shoulder, but Nonetheless, what I'm saying is I'm not just fat. You know, I got muscles, too. Ugh, come and get some of this, Mr. Tony. Boom. Mm. Anyways, so I'm just saying, you guys, you might want to start watching what you eat. I know you don't need my PSA to remind you of that, but I'm going to try it. A little noodleage. <laughs> noodleage. You know what I'm saying? It's an easy dinner to fix. You know, watch the cholesterol levels, even though I got a little a little butter going on there. Yeah, cut that. Yeah. I, don't need, I don't need a lot of butter. Country crock, some good butter. Uh, but yeah, so I just wanted to throw that out there. See what you guys think about that for your health. And I'm going to try to get my weight back down to two. Uh, I want to be, I like being big though. I like being big. 
know what I'm saying? So I don't mind being 270. I just feel really sluggish, you know. I'm, I'm My reflexes are still fast, but I don't, you know, you just know when you're overweight. It's just like I, my face should not be this big. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind being big, but my face looks huge, so. I got to bring it down. I got to tone it down just to scotch. <laughs> just a notch. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyways, so I just want to throw that out there. I know a lot of you guys are going to have some pretty strange comments. But, you know, this is kind of... My channel is turning into a sports channel-ish type thing. And, you know, I've been eating meat all my life. You know what I'm saying? And But, but I, t I tell you what. When I used to run a mile and compete. When I used to compete in a mile... All the way up until I was 26. I got a scholarship to go to Talladega College at 26 years old. Okay, this is after I got out the service. I started looking for colleges to go to. I you know, messed around for a while. And then finally was like, I want to go to college. I want to go to an all-black college. So Talladega was like, I'll pay you to come run for us. Now, I'm going to tell you what some of my diet consists of. Uh, when you're getting ready to go out and run five, six miles, especially if you're going to try to do them under 30 minutes, I ate a lot of spaghetti, but it wasn't necessary spaghetti with meatballs. It was just a lot of spaghetti. You know what I'm saying? I packed in those carbs because one time I was in a, a 10 mile race, which was way out of my element. I'm three miles and under. I was in a 10 mile race and I literally fell out on the road and I had no more energy. I, I, I was walking, then at first I was running, then I was walking, and then I couldn't walk anymore, and it was really hot. It was in Kansas on, on Fort Raleigh, Fort Raleigh, Kansas, and, you know, next thing you know, I couldn't even walk anymore, and then the sun was just zapping your energy, and next thing you know, I was just, lay, I couldn't even, I sat up, and then boom, I couldn't do nothing. I could just lay there. All my energy was completely depleted, and they they already knew there was going to be people sprawled out all over the road. It was a 10-mile race, so, you know, they saw me, scraped me up off the sidewalk, and I was completely done. It's because One reason was I didn't eat enough. Two, I I don't usually run 10 miles. I did that every now and then. My mile, my race was the mile. I was a 426, 1500. I was a 440, uh, 1600 guy. And that was at 205. So I was doing that at 205, 210 pounds. So I was very heavy for a miler. So I'm just saying that um, I didn't necessarily need meat in order to push myself to those speeds. I didn't, you know, I ran the two mile in 1028, and that's slow. That's a that's a full stride, but that's slow. There's guys, I saw a guy do it in nine minutes and come in last. And I was just like, wait, what? What just happened? <laughs> so trust me, that is slow. You know, those guys out there running in college, those guys are running, especially in the Big Ten. Those guys are in the sevens in the two mile. So imagine that. Imagine running a nine minute flat two mile and coming. And he was jogging and he came in dead last. So I'm just saying, like, I, I, I really just, I just don't think I need meat. It's, now, chicken is something I would eat a lot just to get that sudden boost of energy. So I'm going to try to find something to replace that. And it's protein. So I'm going to start eating a lot of beans and stuff like that and hopefully replace that. Another thing is your digestive system and, you know, a lot of plant-based diets uh, really, they're just a lot better for your digestive system. You don't feel sluggish and stuff after that. So, but you got to watch what you eat because not everything is for you. You don't go out and buy a bunch of green plants and I'm going to eat this. Next thing you know, you sitting on the pot for, you know, all day because you and you know, fold it over because your stomach is turning inside out. That will happen to you, so don't just go crazy. Uh, I worked my way into this. So, you know, I worked my way into this. So I'm not completely off meat yet. Like, I had a chicken sandwich yesterday <laughs> at a Subway. But, um, like, to, from here, you know, I'm just going to try to be no meat. So I haven't, I didn't eat, uh, I won't eat meat tomorrow. I don't even have any more in my refrigerator. I'm not going to go out and buy it. It's just going to be all either noodles or potatoes and beans and all kind of, you know, greens and stuff like that, plants. Not necessarily greens. 
because greens will put a hole in your stomach. Uh, to, <laughs> don't make you go. But nonetheless, just stuff like that. So, guys, for your health, man. You know what I'm saying? For your health. And uh, I just don't think that we need meat to pack in all the energy that we need to pack in. Plus, uh, I want to lose some weight and still keep my strength. I'm not trying to get any stronger. I was going to try to bench up to 405. I don't think I want to do it because I have a slap tear on my shoulder. And uh, for those, it's the reason why I have my shirt, shirt off too. Uh, operation on this shoulder here. So, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a couple holes here where they cut me up real nice. So, two holes here. Hole in the back. So they just went. Shh, shh. Slap tear is where your bicep innervates under your shoulder, your shoulder cluster. I forgot what those three shoulder muscles are called. Um, uh, I forgot what they're called. One of you, you know, 4.0 students out there tell me. Nonetheless, but your bicep innervates up under there, but the bicep is coming, it's coming off of the joint and uh, off of your synovial joint, some kind of way it's hooked up in there, but it's tearing off of there and they have to sew it back on and it takes them a while to do it. But I can, I can feel that happening again every time I bench press over, over 315. Uh, I can just feel it and I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to go through this again. One time I hit 340. I think I hit like 340 or three, close to the, it was, it might have been more than that, 65, so it was somewhere around 345, and it just hurt, and I was like, I, I don't want to do this anymore, so, anyways, just wanted to put that out there, it's your boy Tone 202, man, God loves you, don't forget, get yourself saved, find a good group of people who are praying and love the Lord and following his word, I'm out.